Thanks for checking out this video. So let's get into it and talk about what is coming to Shutter for August. But just know that anything that I talk about that's a Shutter exclusive or a Shutter original, I will have no spoiler reviews available for those the week that they're gonna hit Shutter, um, but ahead of time because I do get screeners for uh, for their originals and exclusives, which is wonderful. Thank you very much, Shutter. So usually they put out their films on the Thursdays. So I will usually have my review with no spoilers up on the Mondays. So it's just kind of a good way to check in and see if I'm going to be able to warn you of definitely don't watch this one or definitely watch this one. But, you know, everyone has their own opinions as well. So, you know, make up your own mind. But if you feel like your opinions are close to mine on horror films, then you can look to me as a kind of guide on that. All right, so let's go over them. So first, the Shutter exclusives and originals. Uh, the first one that will be hitting at the end of July, but is considered, you know, in the August grouping, is a film called Host, and that's hitting July 30th. It's a Shutter original. Uh, six friends hire a medium to hold a seance over Zoom during lockdown, but get far more than they bargain for as things quickly go wrong. Host was shot remote, remotely during quarantine and features practical scares, stunts, and surprises, all filmed by the actors in their own homes. Director Rob Savage never set foot in the same room as his actors at any point during production and instead directed them remotely. That is interesting. So this is the first actual like COVID quarantine film that probably most of us will be seeing. I think there were other there are other ones out there and around, but uh, that sounds interesting. So I will have a review for that, obviously. Then uh, a Shutter exclusive, I believe. This is a Shutter exclusive. This one is La Llorona. I know this one had come out in theaters some time back. Um, so, and I had mm, lukewarm interest in it, I'll say. So uh, August 6th is when it's coming out. Indignant retired General Enrique finally faces trial for the genocidal massacre of thousands of Mayans decades ago. As a horde of angry protesters threatens to invade their opulent home, the women of the house, his haughty wife, and conflicted daughter, and precocious granddaughter weigh their responsibility to shield the erratic, senile Enrique against the devastating truce being publicly revealed and the increasing sense that a wrathful supernatural force is threatening them for is targeting them for his crimes. Meanwhile, much of the family's domestic staff flees, leaving only loyal housekeeper Val Valeriana until a mysterious young indigenous maid arrives. That's a lot to put in one of these little teaser things. Um, still, lukewarm on that one, but I'll have a no-spoilers review for it up the week that it comes out. Now, this next one is one that I had heard about coming out, and I am very interested in it, and I will be having a no-spoilers review for it, and this is a Shutter exclusive, I assume. It's, a, it's not indicating that it's an original, so I believe it's an exclusive. Random Acts of Violence. This one's done by uh, Jay Baruchel, if anyone knows him. Uh, comic book creator Todd, his wife, assistant, and best friend all embark upon a road trip from Toronto to New York Comic Con, and bad things start to happen. People start getting killed. Is a crazed fan using Todd's Slasher Man comic as inspiration for his stylized slaughter? And that's it. That's a much better, more succinct way of teasing a film, as opposed to the La Llorona one. Jeez. Um, sounds interesting. I'm definitely in. I like Jay Baruchel. I'm assuming there will be comedic aspects to it, but maybe not. I don't know. And then the last one that is a Shutter exclusive is The Shed, and this one is for August 27th. Uh, Stan and his best friend Domer have put up with bullies their entire lives. All of that changes when Stan discovers he has a ravenous vampire living in his shed. Interesting. Seeing the, blo the bloodshed bloodshed that's funny and destruction the monster is capable of stan knows he has to find a way to destroy it but domer has a much more sinister plan in mind that one sounds really interesting i'm definitely down for that one okay so there is also going to be a special in august i've talked about this on my channel before it is the joe bob uh briggs last drive in summer special i believe they're calling it the summer sleepover so that will be friday august 14th at 9 p.m eastern standard time Fire up the popcorn and slip into your PJs. Joe Bob Briggs, America's foremost drive-in movie critic, is back for a special summer sleepover double feature. Joining Joe Bob and Darcy in the trailer park will be director Adam Green along with other surprise guests. I'm assuming since it's a double feature, it'll be 
two of the Hatchet films. I assume Hatchet 1 and Hatchet 2, but you never know. We'll see. Could be anything. They throw curveballs all the time. Okay, so now the other films. August 1st, the film Squirm. Beware the crawling terror. A surge from a downed power line mutates a seemingly endless population of worms into a blood-sucking, man-eating onslaught. That sounds fun to me. Might check that one out. Urban Legends Final Cut. Never watch any of the Urban Legends films, but I guess I should at some point. A film student's thesis project runs into production problems when her cast and crew members start turning up dead. Simple enough. That's also August 1st. August 3rd, Amityville 1992. It's about time. An antique clock brought back from New York brings supernatural terror to a California neighborhood. That doesn't sound that interesting to me. Probably pass. August 10th, Ring, Ring 2, and Ring 0. Yes, the original ones by Hideo Nakata. Uh, I haven't actually seen these. I saw the, the American version of the Ring when it first came out. I have seen the original Grudge, Juan, but never got around seeing this, so I might have to check out at least the first Ring. Uh, in the film that kicked off the franchise, as well as a Western surge in interest in so-called J-horror, a group of teenage friends are found dead, their faces twisted in terror, supposed victims of an urban legend about a cursed videotape. One year after the success of his horror classic, director Hideo Nakata returned to the world of viral video to deliver his own follow-up. And in the prequel, Ring Zero, a journalist tracks a young woman who uses her supernatural powers to kill members of an acting troupe. That sounds interesting. I, I might check out all three of those. We'll see. Uh, August 17th, Jawbreaker. Teen girls must cover up the accidental murder of a friend in this twisted 90s classic. Um, I had fringe interest in this when it came out some time ago, so I might check that out. Hellmaster. Don't know this one. A mad professor at a rural campus injects students with a drug to make them superhuman mutants. That sounds fun. I definitely want to check that out. Uncaged. A zoo veterinarian is caught up in a grisly adventure as she leads the hunt for a monstrous lion terrorizing Amsterdam. That does not sound fun. Um, might pass on that one. Uh, August 24th, The Evil. A psychologist and his wife turn a house of the devil into a drug rehabilitation center. <laughs> I might have to check that out because that sounds like a pretty funny concept. It's probably not supposed to be funny, but it sounds funny. I might have to check out The Evil. Also, August 24th, Mortuary. Christy has been having terrifying nightmares ever since her father drowned, causing her to reevaluate the circumstances surrounding his death. That's so vague. I, I think I'd have to see like a trailer or something to, to see if I'm interested. Also coming out on August 24th, One Dark Night. As part of an initiation into a club called The Sisters, a young girl must spend the night in a mausoleum. Okay. Sounds interesting-ish. Which, by the way, on the note of Mausoleum, if you guys haven't seen the film Mausoleum from the 80s that's on Shutter right now, it's a must. It's one of those so terrible, it's awesome films. Check that out. And then the last film, also coming out on August 24th, 30 Miles from Nowhere. When five college pals return home for their estranged friend's funeral, what begins as an uneasy reunion becomes a terrifying fight for survival. Maybe. I don't know on that one. So there you have it. It's one of the lesser exciting months for me, except for the last drive-in. Um, the Random Acts of Violence sounds really interesting. Uh, the Shed also. Other than that, not that excited for this month. I feel like usually they have like some bigger name uh, films that are hitting Shudder. Uh, I guess the Ring ones are you know kind of hitting that niche, but you know. So if you want to know for, for my channel, some of the things that are definitely coming up, uh, I have a review for Mausoleum coming up. I have a review for the Blumhouse, uh, The Invisible Man coming up. That's also part of the live stream that's happening this weekend, August 1st, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel. Check that out if you want to. Uh, also have the final review for the, the trilogy of Sleepaway Camp films coming out this coming weekend. And then after that, I'm going to be doing the three Maniac Cop films. I will have reviews up for those. Other than that, I think those are the only ones I, I have. Oh, and Poltergeist. I have a review for Poltergeist coming out as well. Those are the only ones I have definitely in the works or done at this point in time. But, you know, who knows what I'll randomly want to do reviews on. But 
regardless thank you for checking this out real quick though do me a really quick favor hit that subscribe button it takes you like no time and it means a lot for me and my channel and i really do appreciate that and if you are going to hit that or if you already have make sure you also hit the notification bell because that way you know anytime i'm putting up a new review video or when i'm doing a live stream because you should consider joining the live streams because they're fun it's basically like a book club but for horror movies pretty much we get real nerdy we get real deep and nerdy on these films and it's fun so anyway thanks everyone for checking this out and until next time keep it brutal